everyone, it's the end of February and that means it is time for my February favorites. And I actually have quite a few exciting favorites this month, which is good because some months are more boring than others and some months I don't really have any new products to review. But I did a lot of hauls earlier this month, so I do have some items that are from those hauls. So the first item is from a haul that I hauled earlier this month and this is the Chanel Liquid Bronzing Illuminator. And it looks like this. It's so pretty. I love this stuff. Like, I have become addicted to this. Like, I use it every day. I'll swatch just a tiny bit just to show you guys. I mean, I showed this in my haul, but it's just the most beautiful, like, bronzy, pinkish, illuminating, glowy bronzer. So I actually use this like you would use a powder bronzer. I kind of put it just everywhere and I don't have it on today because it was actually being borrowed by someone and I really missed it. So that's how I knew it was like my number one favorite for the month and that's why it went as my number one product. But I have been using this in some previous videos. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell on camera but it's so pretty. So I actually apply this with like a um, flat top brush like a really like you could apply it with like a 187 from MAC or a more dense one and I just put it all over my cheeks after I put on my foundation and I feel like most people wouldn't do that because they would feel like they would be too bronzed or too glowy but I actually really like it and I feel like for the summer when I get a little bit more of a tan I'm really just going to like I just love this so much. It reminds me of a MAC product I used to have way back in the day, but that one was much more orange. This one's a nice color for my skin. Going completely 180, this isn't even a makeup item, but it is kind of beauty. My Colgate Optic White whew, Sparkling Mint Toothpaste. It says same whitening ingredient as strips. And it's just a toothpaste I picked up. I needed a new toothpaste and I was attracted to the red container. It was just different and I just wanted to try something different. And I wanted to try something with like a really good whitening toothpaste because ever since drinking coffee, I've noticed my teeth are just getting, they're just kind of yellower than they were. Like even though I was drinking Diet Coke before drinking coffee, Diet Coke never stained my teeth. Coffee I feel like is just like bad for your teeth. So this stuff I have, I've really enjoyed. I feel like it um, gets my teeth really clean and it rinses away really nicely and I do feel like it's helped whiten a little bit and it actually, the only thing I don't like is it has a really baking powdery kind of taste to it which I don't normally like in toothpaste. I normally actually like gel toothpaste. This is a paste toothpaste. I don't normally like the paste because I find them more bacon, bacon, baking soda powdery but I don't mind it for this one, maybe because I feel like it's whitening my teeth and therefore I don't mind it as much. Another favorite for the month is my Fairy Drop Scandal Queen Mascara. And I got this from Sephora. I hauled it earlier this month as well. And I just love this stuff. I love it. I've been using it every day. I love that the brush is very unique. It's unlike any brush I've ever seen. It looks like a little smiley face. It has three little balls. I also like that this mascara is a very wet mascara and I prefer that for my own lashes. I know some people prefer more dry mascara. And the way I apply this is I put it upside down so the smiley face is like this and I press it against my lashes like this and I do long even strokes because this mascara actually has like those little, um, those little like, what is it called? The little extenders are like the little flakes that kind of make your lashes look a lot longer. And I do have false eyelashes on today, so I don't want you guys to think that I have like amazing lashes like on my own. I'm not born with lashes this luxurious. I wish I was. But this really does make a nice difference and I really like it. If you dab it, it can just get too flaky. I actually flip it and I do the underneath as well, like on top. So not the underneath, the on top. I like this mascara a lot and I feel like I will repurchase it when I'm done with it because I really like it. My next favorite is Max MSF in Soft and Gentle, which I've had forever and I've never loved it the way I love it now. So the way I apply this, I apply this as my highlighter and I use my MAC 180, oh my goodness, what is this? So I just swirl it all around like that. I kind of get quite a bit on there and then I just da da da. I, I also, I bring it down, yeah, which most people don't do, but I have really dry skin. That might make you look oily if you have oily skin because, you know, you get oily there, but I like it. I like shimmery highlight colors, so I go like that. I just, I put so much on, like I, as much as I want. I just, I really like those cheekbones to be highlighted and shimmery and like a disco ball, and that's how I like it. So these two together, 
Most people also wouldn't use this as a highlighting brush because it's huge. So it takes up quite a bit of cheekbone, but I like to have it really nicely highlighted. I also sometimes will go underneath my eyes over top of my um, concealer, which again, most people would not do because um, you'll be real shimmery down there, but I like it. I think it's kind of brightening and stuff. Next favorite, YSL number 30 lipstick. I have it on today and I just really like it. It's a beautiful coral. Looks like this. I will swatch it. Those two colors together are so pretty. I love it. Bronziness and corally, coraliness. That's going to be me this summer and this spring and right now because I mean it's February and I'm loving it. But I love YSL number 30. I've talked about that in a couple of videos now. It was in my purse video too. Next favorite, Steal a Kitten. All these are like new products from like this month's hauls, but I can't help it. I just, I love my new products. This is Steal a Kitten. It is beautiful. It's a really, really gorgeous highlight color, inner corner highlight, like inner corner color. Um, you could also use this as a highlight color on, ooh, look at that. That was a lot. See, this stuff's pigmented. I love it. Um, you could also use this as like a highlight color for like your cheeks if you wanted, but um, it might be a little much for that. I just love this. I've been putting this all over my lid too on days where I don't really want to do my makeup. Although that's doing your makeup, you know what I mean? Like just kind of an easy wash of color with mascara and I really, really like this. Um, yeah. Okay. Last beauty favorite is my Moroccan oil intense hydrating mask, Argan oil enriched enriched and this is actually so I told you guys in my products I used up video that I used up another pot of the macadamia oil which looks like this but it's green and that I ended up repurchasing something else so I didn't repurchase that product not because it doesn't work well because it's an amazing product I just smelled this one and I really like the smell of this better so the Moroccan oil or the sorry the macadamia oil is like a really fruity it's, it's a nice scent. It smells really nice. It smells really fruity and like girly and I really liked it, but I went through like four pots of it and I was so tired of that scent. This is a much more like musty, woodsy, musty, musky, woodsy, like sexy scent. I just, I like it better and I wanted to change and I actually don't think that this works as well as the macadamia oil healing mask did. I use it as an everyday conditioner. You can see how much I've used quite a bit of it. I'll probably have to either repurchase this or the macadamia. I'll have to decide which one I'm going to repurchase. I love the smell of this and I think it works comparably well. I just don't know if it's better than the macadamia but I do like the smell better. But I think I'll get tired of the smell eventually and wanna go back to the macadamia no matter what, but I just really like these as my everyday conditioner. So when I get done with it, I'll use one or the other, but I, I just really like the smell. Okay, and then, so that's all for like my beauty products. I also have a candle favorite of the month. This is Paradise Daiquiri from Slap Kin & Co from Bath & Body Works. I cannot even tell you guys how much I like this candle. Like, look, I haven't even showed it in a video yet and it's all the way down to there. That's insane. Like, I haven't even been able to haul this thing yet. The description on the bottom says, a raspberry twist on the classic pina colada made with dark rum and sweet orange topped with coconut cream and warm vanilla. All I can say is when I burn this candle, I actually feel like it smells sparkling. And I can't describe that because does sparkling have a scent? I don't know. But you know that really bubbly kind of smell that you smell on champagne? It's kind of like, it kind of tingles your nose a little bit, like in a good way. That's how I feel this candle smells. I just love it. I love the way it makes my room smell. And one thing I've noticed with this candle is that it makes my room smell after I burned it for a couple hours, my room smells like this candle for days afterwards. And that's not the case with all the Slatkin & Co. candles. Like, they'll smell really good when they're burning and then you blow them out and they kind of go away. This one just smells so good. So I really like this. And I know that it was one of their spring scents. And I think I'm going to, next time they have their two for $20 candles, because I only buy it when it's like on the two for 20 sale, because they're normally $20 a piece. And that's such a good deal to get it for 10 um, I think I'm going to get like two more of these. I don't want to do what I did with leaves because with leaves I bought like six or seven of them and like now I'm so tired of leaves. Like I'm sure I'll want it again by next fall, but I don't want to buy so many that I get so tired of it I don't end up burning them, but I think I'm going to get a couple more because I really like this one as you can tell. I burn it a lot. Um, and then non-beauty 
favorites. I love Tiny Tower. That's my app favorite of the month. Um, you guys are going to like judge me. I'm like over 70 floors. I have a lot of floors. I really like Tiny Tower, but I'm starting to get tired of it. Like I'm starting to get to the point where I feel like stocking it takes a really long time to stock all my floors. And so I'm not enjoying it as much, but yeah, I'm still playing it. And then, um, sorry, my phone was going off. I have it on the floor and I got a text. And then I also, oh, my drink favorite of the month is the chai tea latte from Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf. I really like that. I tried my first one like for the first time this month at Coffee Bean and I really liked it. Like that's what I've, I've gotten that four times already this month. Every time I've gone there, I've gotten a um, chai tea latte. I just really, really like it. You guys know the shows I love. I love Secret Circle. I love Vampire Diaries, like blah, blah, blah. But the weird show that I've been addicted to is My Strange Addiction. It's so addicting. It's such a weird show. Like the last one I watched was like this guy that was like in love with his car. Like he was in a relationship with his car. And his, like, no. And then the other one in that same episode was a girl that snorted baby powder every day. Like, just weird, weird addictions. And it's addicting to watch. Like, whoever came up with that show idea was a genius because it makes you, like, want to watch them because you're it's like a train wreck. So that was all of my favorites for February. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys very, very soon with my next video. Bye, guys.